a lot of our users have been asking about budgeting apps and whether or not Sequence is a replacement for a budgeting app or is it complementary to a budgeting app? Can you expand on good, it? Good question. So I myself use a budgeting app. I was a long time Mint user, obviously Mint's no more, rest in peace, um, and now use Rocket Money. Whatever tool you use, I know a lot of people love YNAB, like there's amazing tools out there, especially since Mint has gone away, Monarch Wealth, like plenty of different tools out there for budgeting. Great tool to help you essentially instantly figure out where you're spending your money. Because one of the hardest parts about budgeting, everybody knows they should budget, but to be honest, budgeting is so boring. And honestly, it can be <laughs> uncomfortable because you don't necessarily want to see what you are spending your money on. Because a lot of us spend money on stupid stuff. So the way that I use a budgeting app is simply to get a quick pulse on where I'm spending my money. And I think the thing to realize is that it's a really powerful complementary tool to use with Sequence because they Sequence is not a budgeting app per se. You really want to understand and you need to understand where you're spending your money in order to set up the rules for Sequence. Because if you want to start following the 50, 30, 20 principles, well, we need to get a quick pulse check on how much we're actually spending on our fixed expenses. Because if our fixed expenses are 80, 90% of all of our income, just because we're either living above our means or heaven forbid we lost a job or something happened. Well, if we create a rule that says, I only want 50% of my income going to my fixed expenses, but we're spending 90% of our actual income on fixed expenses, obviously that's not gonna work. So if you use a budgeting tool, it's an amazing way for us to quickly understand where the money's currently being spent and what types of percentages and dollar amounts that we need to be sending into our fixed expenses, our wants, our needs, our savings. That's a great way to use it. So you don't need to be using a budgeting app. It can be a really powerful tool to understand where your money's going. Because again, budgeting apps are essentially more rear view mirror, right? It's kind of like an accountant in the sense where they're looking at historical trends. What did I spend money on last month? What did I make last month? Like all of these things where it's understanding what has already happened Whereas sequence is meant to be more forward looking and it's what do we want to do with our money? So it's a really nice compliment because now all of a sudden by understanding how I have been spending my money, I can create rules to help me encourage to spend my money better in the future. And that's why sequence is a really nice compliment if you're already using one of those tools. And if you're not using one of those tools, well, we've got plenty of budgeting tools and resources that we've already created so that you can quickly understand hey, here's what I'm spending so that we can now start to utilize the rules and the conditions and have all of the enjoyment and success using sequence based on what we're actually spending and what we want to accomplish in the future.